All right, so if you haven't watched our non-spoiler discussion on Broly, this is fair warning right now. I like in case this started auto playing for you and you don't want spoilers. I am specifically stating all of this right now. This is going to be spoiler heavy. Talk about Dragon Ball Super Broly. This was your chance to click off the video or turn it off. Uh, if you want non-spoiler discussion, link down below. Or if YouTube will give us cards back. Nope. It's oh, never going to happen. Related videos Sorry. maybe near us. Wow. It's, it's right. It's going it's to happen. It's gonna but be yeah, good. if you haven't heard about the graphic Super Saiyan 4 sex scene in Broly yet, you should probably turn yeah, this off. Yeah, turn it away right it's now. It's really not going to work for Amaz you if you know about it going in. Amazing use of the tail. Uh, tails. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy it's canon now. Like, seriously. <laughs> and okay. I always thought he was the hottest anyway. But for real... Dragon Ball Super Broly, so fucking good. Messes with the canon a little bit in ways that, like, yes. you know, if you accepted Bardock, father of Goku, yeah. as canon, which we did for as the longest Toriyama time. Did, as, as Toriyama did. As Toriyama did until <laughs> until he wanted to do Minus. And you know what? And then I'm, he said, no, I don't want to do that any, uh, again. Let's work on that, too. So I'm, I'm, I'm guess, like, you know, Jor-El Bardock and his son... Kal-El Karat. Ka 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 Kal Rod. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I'll go ahead and say that that if if I have a problem with this movie, it's that we went, you know, instead of Goku being like this kind of cool take on the Superman alien coming to Earth narrative, just what if what Superman. if we just gave him Superman's origin, <laughs> like, yeah. like almost Entirely. to a T? Like, yeah. And that's with that's kind of a bummer for me because I always liked Goku as this. He's kind of like Japanese Superman in that it's like, no, his his upbringing was less about, uh, you know, we need to save our son. And it's just like, by random happenstance, you got here and things kind of just worked out. Yeah. This I, felt much more planned and ordained and yeah. he's a child of destiny, which and, I've never been. And, turn, and turning Bardock. And th these are the problems I had with the beginning part. Yeah. Like just to, because like, I mentioned I had a couple of nitpicks. Turning Bardock from that like ruthless Saiyan kill machine warrior to, I don't know, I've destroyed a lot of things. I guess I just want to save something. My Kakarot. Just you know, carrying okay. the fucking pod <laughs> over his shoulder. I don't think you're wrong necessarily on that one, but okay, it's a guy it's, who it's, hates it's, minus. It's, it's personal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. And this is a pure, pure personal preference thing for me, too. It is not me essentially going like, it's bad because they did yeah, this. Normally, <laughs> I love the sacrificial father trope. Uh, mm. In this case, it changed something that I liked into something that I didn't like as much. As a guy who hates minus, just. Flat out, I hate it. I think it's mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. It's not a story. It's nope. not anything. Nope. It's it's just Toriyama. It just exists. <laughs> fucking up something that already worked. This take on it is far better than the comic was. And yes. you know what? I'll I'll take that. Yeah. That's fine. Like I, I did not read minus. Yeah. I've heard nothing but bad things like, because I hang out with you people. <laughs> like I, I don't like the fact that Gine is there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Actually, if I had to be completely honest with you, I don't mind. I the, know, right? I don't mind the idea of a Goku having a mom that's there. Because Echo hates moms. <laughs> well, I definitely wouldn't fuck one. That's you know, that's. But the problem that I have is that they just decided that. Oh yeah, so here are the female Saiyans. They make the food. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm like, oh god! They work at the meatpacking yeah, plant the meat all packing, day. Exactly. And yeah, I'm like, so how dare bad. these Saiyans not be progressive, Kaiser? <laughs> no, but I, th here's the thing. So I wait, the <laughs> female Saiyans are only good for packing meat and having babies? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That, I, honestly, I think that's kind of Toriyama to a T, though. I know, and that's, yeah. it bothers me. That's why me you love it. Fucking Celiba and Bardock is like yeah, poor killing Celipa. dudes and stomping on people, and in here it's oh, like Fasha. No, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 or Fasha. Yeah, Fasha. Yeah, Fasha. Yeah, I was confused. Yeah, and so it, it's just it's frustrating because it's like, oh great, Goku's mom is just nice submissive waifu. I mean, but that being said, I kind of love her design, and she has a good design. Yeah, and one she of the evokes rats. She was really good I, at chopping yeah, that meat. She, I yeah. see the I see the raditz yeah, in her, which the, is she cool. Had the raditz hair, yeah. yeah, kind of just shorter. And I and I love and I do as much as I absolutely hate turning Bardock into a good guy. They at least go out of their way to one make him. Give him context clues as to what the fuck's going on. Yeah, because yeah. He's, he's not psychic anymore, yeah. but he yeah, just kind of yeah, figures he, it he out. He didn't fight that psychic fish, so yeah. he didn't get the <laughs> but, but in the comic, he just figures yeah. it out. He, he just he's like, just like I got a bad I think feeling. Freeze, I think Freeze is going to kill us. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a bad feeling about this. No, in, we got to. I got to like, send my son away. And no, in the movie, yeah, yeah there like the first scene you're really shown Bardock is he's flying back in with his buddy who I guess is named Leek. I don't think his name is ever mentioned, but in the credits he's listed. Uh, <laughs> so he's flying back in with his buddy Leek. He's like, I got a bad feeling about like why Freeze is calling in all us 
from the outer reaches. And he gives a bunch of reasons of why this is fishy. Mm -hmm. And then he finds out that Frieza's been asking around about the Super Saiyan. And he's like, yeah, no, this yeah. Saiyan's going to kill us. Ha! Yeah, that's a good joke, Barda. <laughs> and, and the yeah. reason I like that is that it's like, all I can think is, this guy's seen some shit. He's probably done shit to get people <laughs> into a... Like a, in, into a like, this, is no, this is a classic tactic of get all of them in yeah. one spot so you can smoke them at one time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This feels like a tactic of war, and Bardock puts it together. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then when Gine even asks, like, this isn't like you. Why are you sending him out like this? Mm -hmm. you, you never cared before. And it, you know what? As cheesy as the it, line it was, is... It was very <laughs> cheesy, but I understand, and it was a very like sentimental heartstring pulling line. Yes, and when he puts his son down and he says, "Look, if if it's all if it's all a ruse, I'll yeah, come back and ruse, we'll I'll go find him. him." Yeah, but that goodbye, I was like, "Oh shit, I hate minus," and this got me. I'm like, "Damn it." Is that fair? I want no an good. alternate like, universe where Frieza doesn't blow up Vegeta and Bardock has to go to Earth to get Kakarot. And he's just like, who's this Gohan guy? I'm going <laughs> to fucking kill him. <laughs> Give me back my son. <laughs> like, he's, yeah, he's the one that shows up when, Go when Goku's like 12 and entering the tournament or something. <laughs> Ooh, that's my boy. Yeah, let, let me see that alternate timeline. My Kakarot. Masako, hit it up, son. <laughs> I, right? I do love, I do love how... Um, <laughs> when he's in the he's in the the ship with Leek, and Leek's like, you know, you know that guy, he, he's a total bastard, and fucking Bardock's like, dude, your scatter's on, man. <laughs> oh, right, uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, you know, he can hear and you. They just puts it down on the ground as if that's gonna turn it off. But <laughs> the thing that I I I think what because I I haven't chimed in much, but I also still I think this movie's perfect. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> the way I ration it out in my head is that when he uh, when the blast is coming. You still see him fighting. Yeah, he's still yeah. the and one there. He, I wanted to see that part. And I, that, I hope that's in the extended cut. That's what cut. I'm thinking. Is like there's still some more that happened there that I think was cut. Because yeah. we just go from he, he's gone and then he dies in the middle of the blast. It's, it's weird and fighting too because he looks like he's pre battle damaged in that it, shot yeah, too. Exactly. Like those other scenes, like stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm expecting that if there is an extended version, which I pray to God there is. Yeah. There's scenes with him fighting because that's what I would absolutely want mm -hmm. because it's implied in the movie. Yeah, almost just ever kinda? so ever so slightly. You, like you see a bit, you see him with the soldier. It looks there. like it's him with yeah. a bunch of like freedom fighters yeah. out yeah. there trying to be like. And I I kind of wonder this uh, because they also imply in the movie that not every Saiyan is a warrior. Some of them I guess are yeah, technicians yeah. and shit. Oh yeah, and they actually run around with rifles and blasters. Not everybody's hucking <laughs> energy mm -hmm. beams. Yeah, I, I guess that. not everybody. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I thought that was really cool. But I, I look at this and I'm thinking, you know, like, because I'm guessing his friend Leek is a pilot or something. Mm, yeah, which yeah. Is why he wasn't up there helping. But if they all fired back on Freeze's beam, do you think they could have stopped it or like pushed <laughs> it? If there was one big mega beam from all the Saiyans? Well, this, we know the true power of, the, of Dragon Ball is friendship. Yes. And that's what they learned at the very end. <laughs> and that's what the Saiyans didn't understand. Yeah, they, 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 were, they were all that's, bastards, yeah. according to Paragus, who is also <laughs> incredible in this. And the dichotomy between him and King Vegeta, who, by the way, I loved King Vegeta's design in this. Oh, yeah, he yeah. looks so yeah, fucking King Vegeta's cool. outfit. Yeah, young King great. Vegeta looked pretty good. Yeah, uh, I was actually I really... liked his new goatee. Oh, yeah, looks good. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything about him, his demeanor, the way that he goes about stuff, the way he freaks out when he finds out that a commoner is in the same nursery <laughs> as his son. He's <laughs> like, because there's like a whole bunch of other kids up there, but this, like, Broly also like, who the fuck's this? Well, I think it's more like he's like, I recognize these ones are, uh, these are all yeah. the elite born. Yeah, that's Who's Nappa's boy. And <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> basically. Like, I'm sure it's something along those lines of like, yeah, the upper crust, like we get to hang out yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Who's this dirty baby? I bet it's, <laughs> you know what? I will point out that his color was different. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. pod color was different. Yeah, maybe they're designated by color. Maybe, like, this is a lower class, this is, like, middle class, this is high class. I mean, Paragus was, like, a lieutenant or something, according to the thing, so he must have been somewhere in that echelon. Yeah. <laughs> but not a shitty lieutenant, that's what uh, they didn't tell us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, kind of like how you and I imagined they decided, well, shit, fuck, that kid might be stronger than my boy Vegeta, so we're going to send him out to this shit stain of a planet way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> basically, they're like, okay, that kid... So Vegeta gives a reason, which is actually kind of a valid reason of, like, his power level is incredible. He won't be able he, to control yeah. it, and he's <laughs> going to kill us all. And, but Paragus is like, no, you just don't like the fact that he's stronger than your son. And Vegeta's like... 
Bitch, I already shot him out. <laughs> yeah, like, well, he's already like, gone, so whatever. That's a fine <laughs> argument. You should tell that to Broly, who's on his way to Vampa. <laughs> yeah, well, I like he's like, another word out of you, and I'll have your tongue. And it's like, ooh. Yep, fair yeah. enough. And what? then he just launches out of the window. He's like, there's fucking stairs, mate. <laughs> well, yeah, but that takes a while. Yeah, but he, I mean, you're, 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 you're behind the pod anyway. <laughs> yeah. I love, so yeah, he grabs Beats, <laughs> and he's like, I'm taking this fucking plane. He's like, you're not, you're not qualified to fly that thing. It's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. We're going. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. I love, I love Beats by the way because he doesn't like. Dre. Uh, huh? By Dre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beats by Dre. He's he's actually a phenomenal little character for the time that he's there because mm-hmm. he's just this normal Saiyan dude who gets drugged with this little laser gun. With this little <laughs> laser gun, um, and they have to survive on Vampa when they get there, mm-hmm. and it's crazy. By the way, we haven't talked about one of the coolest parts of the opening bit, which is when Frieza's s- introducing the scouters, or yeah, because to me, I had no idea. I, if you'd have told me, hey, so who met the Saiyans and who mm-hmm. was ruling yeah, over yeah. the longest time, I would have said Frieza. King Cold was actually ruling their shit. I like that it was the Cold Force at one point. Yeah, yeah I like that. It's so I fun. I love the Ginyu Force showing up there doing their little pose, like yeah. dabbing on the hands. <laughs> and like, then he, King Cold just walks out there. He's like, uh, by the way, I'm retiring. This is my boy, Frieza. Uh, he's a bit of a psychopath, but he's in charge now. <laughs> All right, Joffrey, yeah. do your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a very short thing, but I think like... When when King Vegeta greets King Cold, he like pulls out a hand like for a handshake. Yeah, and like Cold like ignores him, like kind of just like yeah. whatever. But I feel like that sets a tone. And of, then like, he has to kneel to freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like a very different. Like uh, by the way, my son's gonna be running things a little differently than I did. Like you Saiyans, you were like you know you were okay, but my kid here, he's he's gonna work. And it's you. implied that he's like really young, like he's a kid. Yeah, yeah. He is like the King Cold's just like I don't fucking want to do this. You're, you do he has this fresh out of the chrysalis color going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like and he maintains that for a good long yeah. while. I like yeah. it though. It looks cool. And like, but the scene in question where he introduces this guy is like, "Here, we brought a gift for you. Here, I'll show you how they work." Turns it on. Oh, it looks like we got some mm-hmm. weapons yeah. trained on us right now. <laughs> oh, that guy's got a power level of two thousand. Bang, <laughs> yep. bang, bang. So that's how they work. <laughs> and yeah. here you go. Yeah. If you that, have any questions, <laughs> if you have any problems, feel free to complain. That was yeah. that was so good. So yeah. Frieza. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I love the idea that he hey, it's such a cool way to introduce the device. I mean, we already know, but what a great way to work into the story. So this is how they Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh they, we got some weapons trained on <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's so good. Mm-hmm. It's it's great. It's a great they opening. Fire scene. at these like snipers. I love the yeah. this like military, like, okay, we gotta defend the castle. If things go wrong, <laughs> we're we're the line of defense. Yeah, I like seeing this more like like militaristic, kind of like modern military uh, look at the Saiyans. Like with, again, with just little snipers and everybody's got little laser guns and some guys can't fly around and be super buff and punch people to death. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm okay. I'm okay with changing up that dynamic of the Saiyans. I didn't need them yeah. to be t- total fucking barbarians, but like, I like the idea that they can, that as a warrior race, they're they're really good at combat. They mm-hmm. They actually use military strategy and weapons and... I also uh. I also really like the aspect of like beats when they're on Vampa like Paragus is like yeah, make sure not to stare at that oh, too long. Yeah. You'll turn into an ape. It's like oh shit, I've never done that before. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's implied right? that not all the Saiyans have experienced being an Ozaru. Not everybody yeah. wants to get hazed on their college night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Beats again. Beats is such a great character because he's so obviously like. He's he's barely a Saiyan. He doesn't feel like any other Saiyan character we've he's ever met. He's a technician met. or a pilot. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's like he means he seems to imply that he's the guy that like helps repair ships and shit. Yeah. And I mean they I mean we're in the spoiler video. Yep. They get stranded on Vampa because they break their ship. It's like I can't fix this shit. And, and then Paragus is like, well, guy can serve food. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Bang! Turns yeah. out he wasn't an average fighter or a brilliant scientist, so there was no need for him on this planet. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry, but when he just kills beats, like, well, we do have to conserve food. So. And, th- and this is after Paragus is like, I wouldn't trust a fucking Saiyan to save my life. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and he's just like, this is why. <laughs> Bang. Yep, yeah. it is a great setup, and I didn't even I didn't even think about that line. What a great setup! Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> never trust a Saiyan. <laughs> what I tell you, boy. <laughs> do you think Do you think Broly's first meal was a human? 
saying. I don't know if they ate beets. They it, you, ate him. <laughs> uh, they they probably did. But <laughs> they they you saw Broly's first meal. He's chewing on one of those. Bugs. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, he's that's right. He's in that because he murdered a bunch of those big that's ass powerful right. bugs as a baby. Yeah. That's well, right. yeah. Well, it, they implied that when they got to, he got to the planet, yeah, he Paragus stared at that moon. Like, oh, he has. Yeah, Paragus seems to imply that. Oh, look, there's some tears in his armor. He must have turned into an ape. Yeah, which that's right. Eventually, when you know you meet older Broly, he doesn't have the tail because Paragus had to cut it off because apparently <laughs> Ape Broly too powerful. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also get to meet. Okay, so the design of Vampa is fucking great. I like oh, it a yeah. lot. Like those, uh, those. First of all, those spider monsters are creepy as hell. Yeah, the, yeah. Like the scarab mm. leech things. Yeah, those things. Those. It feels like this planet is just one giant living creature with a bunch of. Insects. That's what I, I, I thought it was yeah. gonna be at first when the like they had the big when green they fuzzy monsters. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, this grass is. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, like the whole just planet, one giant it's just one big thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Just seeing its fleas. <laughs> yeah, and then we get giant. Worm dog, yeah, giant worm weasels. Oh, I love them. Those, thing, I, yeah. I, those things I dug the hell out of when they first stepped down. Like they stepped onto this like soft land, and it's like, huh, this land feels soft. I'm like, oh shit, they're standing on Broly. That's nope. what I thought too. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Turns out they were on these giant weasels that also play into Broly's backstory in kind of an adorable way. In a good way, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Broly, Broly's Ozuru does have green fur, greenish fur. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, and uh, so yeah. Um, and That's, like so, Paragus needs to say has this giant uh, revenge quest on King Vegeta now for yeah, exiling, he's got a huge hate exiling his son and, and for stranding him for forty one years. <laughs> so yeah. they he's like, I'm gonna train you, Broly. They were scared of you because they I know you're too good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work you, boy. And <laughs> that's kind of where we leave them from and that. Paragus just turns into this asshole dad that you mm. just want to see like the worst shit happen to. And oh boy, does he get so many comeuppances. <laughs> I want to know how of, he got the shock collar. Thank with you. Without leaving the planet. Oh, he probably jury rigged it out of the <laughs> ship somehow. That's what I was thinking, but yeah, it it maybe that was wait, a little nope. weird. I, I can I can actually make a guess All into right. how the Saiyans work. Uh the Saiyans, you know, they mention that they are planetary conquesters and they mm. like they take over the planet and sell it for profit. <gasps> they oh. would also ah. inevitably take slaves. Yes. Yeah, point. you know, and what? sell them. Already. So those shot callers, mm -hmm. that's Fair what that point. is. Yep. Yeah, by the I way, I, I, I want to point something out that somebody pointed out to me, and I love this scene, it, with the shot caller specifically. I know we're going to skip ahead, but we'll skip back to the where we were. Yeah. No, that's fine. The scene where he pulls out the remote for the first time. Oh, and Broly's... And you see Broly's <laughs> face? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. yeah. That's... that's that's really <laughs> fucked up. And in, in the good narrative <laughs> it's, it's way, like, yeah, that is child called it's, it territory. Yeah, I'm yeah, just like, yeah. Oh that's, man, that's, that's like that's like this is Daddy's belt, and that's yes. Broly's reaction. He's got this mm. like PTSD, and it's mm. so fucking sad. Yeah, especially in the scene where like he's sitting down and talking with Chile and Lime. Mm, yeah, yeah. And you know he's really talking about the thing that I was implying earlier. His little. Ass scarf has a backstory, and it is the ear of one of those giants. Like, I'm so glad they give baby Broly a safety weasels. blanket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's his blankie. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it was one of these giant fur weasels that he made friends with that he named Ba because Ooh. of the noises that it made. And Paragus shot that fucking ear off because he's like, Broly, no, you're not. You stop playing. You're supposed to be training. Friendship is a distraction. Yeah, yeah. and. Ever since he shot the ear off, that animal no longer considered Broly friendly at all and yeah, just acted yeah. completely savage. Like this is the last And so friend. this is the last time I remember having a friend. And you're just like, yeah. oh my fucking God, yep. that poor baby. <laughs> yep, yeah. I could not. I, I remember like listening to that story and I teared up a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> Broly had a friend. I know. And then <laughs> his dad shot its fucking ear off. Friend and now Broly. he keeps that as a reminder. <laughs> And I'm guessing Paragus lost the eye by trying to take that ear Ooh. away. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, we never get an explanation of why he loses the eye. I, I think <laughs> it's heavily implied it's because of Broly losing control. I, 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 well, obviously. I, I would have... I like when scars that are that <laughs> obvious have a little bit of a backstory to them, but I don't need it. I didn't even think yeah. about it until afterwards, so yeah. it's not a big deal. I we can uh, we can skip to the time skip with like Chilai and them and like actually go into all that. I want to just... Because I think we're almost done with the prequel stuff. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about baby Raditz. Oh, God. <laughs> and we and need in, to talk the, about baby In the Raditz. dub, he's just straight dubbed by Justin Cook, and it's so... It's so... It's, yeah, it's, how is it like when you have a kid who sounds like this? Raditz just smoked Raditz every day. Yeah, he got, he got <laughs> out of the pod smoking. I th what makes me... Uh, I love that. It's horrible. 
<laughs> they mentioned him. him. They yeah. canonized Tarble. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Tarble yeah. gets yeah. mentioned in this movie, and Gohan doesn't. Gohan doesn't even get name dropped. Yeah. But that's like, gotta you, be didn't a you first. Have, didn't you have a? And, and apparently Vegeta and Raditz were like on friendly terms because they're like the only kids. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you have a? Didn't Did you, you have, have a brother? They probably died too. But who gives a shit? <laughs> I'll never be King Vegeta now. Oh yeah, that is his first line in the yeah. movie. Damn. Is, now I'll never, never be again. King Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, that is cool. Old and that is perfect. I also, love it. Also, King uh, Vegeta the fourth? Yeah. 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 Vegeta the fourth. We now have a successionary line. Yeah. yeah. So at some point there was a Vegeta the first, and theoretically that's either the beginning of the Saiyans yeah, he, or there was a coup. Oh, don't. Yeah. yeah don't. He, or there was either a military more. coup or he was the one that organized them all. Ooh, okay. actually, so, actually, yeah. Um, I think there's some. It, it could also be a thing that like King Cold is the one that appointed this guy. You're Ooh. in charge. Ooh, sure. Because it's implied that King Cold has been. Over them for yeah a for a long while. while yeah I like the idea that he came to the planet and killed the original king and said all right when are you going to be king now and now you know yeah. what I can <laughs> and do. I need to know your name so I'm calling you after the planet you you're <laughs> Vegeta <laughs> oh my god uh, that's my head cannon that's, now that's mine I love it <laughs> yeah and also uh, just small note. Doesn't have to be a big conversation. Who are those two fucking random jobber Saiyans with Nappa? Yeah, because that means you there see were two Nappa, other surviving Saiyans. Yeah, yeah. Na Nappa has this like moment where I love hair on his head. Nappa. Yeah. yeah. Nappa, oh, we just got the report that a, a meteor crashed into Planet Vegeta. Everyone's dead. Oh my oh. god. Oh, 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 and there's oh, no. two jobber Saiyans with him that I guess died. Yeah, they probably they must somewhere. die horribly. Yeah, somewhere. they probably Vegeta probably says I don't need someone who can't move his legs <laughs> and <laughs> blew them up at some point. <laughs> they weren't even paraplegic at that point. <laughs> no, he um, was just sitting down. The dance, <laughs> just, just, yeah, just they can't kick. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I don't know who those two jobber sands were. Don't know what happened to them. Don't care. They'll show up again in uh, Super Broly Two. They're the mm. two yeah. guys that they had to fight when Kami took them into that like illusion. The illusion oh, sands. <laughs> oh God, that's, that's where they them. went. That's them. <laughs> Um, so just yeah, been trapped there ever since. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I, I think so that's everything for the past. That is everything for the much. past, and then it does a really cool thing with the uh, the cr opening credits. I know. Yeah, like, and it starts yeah. like oh, blasting Cha La, like that rock Cha La, yeah. that pop rock. Version. And we see stuff redrawn, and we see like all like Goku in the tournament, and then Goku like, fighting yeah. Piccolo, and just you know, quick little pans. But it looks Vegeta, really good. And then it cuts straight to Goku and Vegeta sparring in this abandoned island that mm -hmm. Bulma bought. Yeah, it's, it's really cool too. Like the animation there is really what kind of sets the pace for the rest of the like the second. Yeah, we like the rest of the movie. Actually, this was the one I noticed. The backgrounds in this movie are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The backgrounds yeah, in this absolutely. movie are when they're not fucking, CG. Yeah, well, even when they're CG, even they just they're CG, clash really badly. But at yeah. least then, like the front stuff is. <laughs> yeah, really good. even when they're CG, they're good on their own. It's just they clash with the character. <laughs> they're just yeah. different. Yeah. It's yeah. noticeable different. But no, I, that I just remember seeing the the <laughs> vacation house and thinking, oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah. It looks like a resort, but I guess it's just hers. <laughs> and then we is like, this is a lovely cottage I have. I'm like, what the fuck is our definition of cottage? <laughs> Daddy's money. Uh, so this <laughs> this is the like this is the moment where like I was I was sitting here cross-armed, like, okay, fine. And then all the shit with Broly happened. I'm like, okay, sure, yeah, that's okay. Then we get to this. And the transition, I don't want to understand. Like, I need to oversell this. Like, yeah. we go into <laughs> Goku and Vegeta going all like, over the you place. You see, like, the year counter click up. And yeah. You see, like, the shit that's happening all and over. They are, like, ripping through the water, spiraling around, punching into mountains, and just, like, this is where the like, Ozar, like, this looks better than. This is on par already with Beerus fighting Goku in yep. Battle of Gods. Yeah. So, like, the best moment. And we're at. And it's like, just a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> like, them fighting base level, just having fun. And that's yeah. like, okay, the, we're, in, we're in for some good shit. And certainly it just keeps getting better. It gets better from there. Yeah. It, like, it, it's. It's shocking that like we have all these good things to say about that first part, and that's my least favorite part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, I, I won't lie, that opening part is maybe my second favorite part of the movie. That's, it's, that's, that's pretty good. Subjectivity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then after that, so I wasn't sure how they were going to work them all into the Arctic, but as it turns out, and this is a really funny scene, mm -hmm. um, Go, uh, Goten and Trunks call up Bulma, and as it turns out, someone broke into Capsule Corp and stole the Dragon Balls that Bulma had already been collecting. And the radar. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and the best part is he sends two low level warriors. Yeah. So, so you get you this great scene. Them. You get this great scene of them like coming in through the roof, <laughs> grabbing yeah. them, and then Falling running from a rope. Typical Team Rocket looking shit. It's some <laughs> Hanna Barbera looking yeah. shit. And yeah. I loved it. <laughs> like you expect the bongos when they're running away. For a <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's it's really good. And also, I think I think 
P- the peel off gangs in the background. Yeah, they, the yeah, they're there. They, they also get more screen time and then than Gohan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they have busy a at a conference, guys. Yeah, yeah. selling his another, third yeah. book. And so, so they decide. Oh, great. Freeze is back, and he wants the Dragon Balls. And one of the funniest exchanges between uh, Vegeta and Goku there, where he just calls him a dumbass. And yeah. He's yeah. Just, and, and he's Go- just like, you, you idiot. He's going to keep getting stronger, you dumbass. <laughs> like, what? Really? You think he's going to outpower us? Mother! <laughs> it's not a good we thing. We only trained for three months. <laughs> and then Go- Goku's line of, how many times are you going to call me an idiot? And Vegeta's like, as many <laughs> times as it takes, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, Sabbath's having a lot of fun, and yep. I had a lot Sabbath, of fun. Sabbath, like, <laughs> fucking killed it with this. Like, his directing, like... Yeah. We love the man. So many fucking props for the, like, the goddamn dub on this one. It's, yeah. Like, I loved it. I am amazed that you kept... Did Vic pass out? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, Jesus. I'm amazed at what you pulled out of him. Not saying that he's bad, but it was just like... Every other line is just, brah, bad. It's like, oh yeah. God. yeah it, I don't know, even want to know. Way. I don't even want to know what he was like after the, the oh, Jesus. Yeah. Like, there was <laughs> so much screaming because, like, Broly, uh, is, as soon as he goes feral, only yeah. screams. Yeah, only no only more screams. words. No. Only screams. <laughs> Shh, no words now. Only <laughs> no screams. No words now. Only <laughs> screaming. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and don't want to skip too far ahead because, oh, my God, one of the best scenes in the movie is all the stuff on Frieza's ship once, like, yeah. Broly and Paragus show up. Even before some... then, with Frieza talking yeah. about why he wants oh, the yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Then, okay, <laughs> then, this is a two-parter. Because yes. it starts with Bulma with the yeah. setup. Because she was like, okay, I was gathering the Dragon Balls because I wanted to wish myself to be five years younger. You know, very Toriyama, very petty, yeah. very Bulma. Well, yeah. And then they even add, like... They add to this bit running, which yeah. is like Whis tacking on, like, well, why don't you just go for the even ten? Because and if I like, did it that, it won't look natural. Yeah, because <laughs> if I did that, it wouldn't look natural. People be like, well, who's your surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> and then you cut to Frieza, who's like, so why do you want the Dragon Balls? You'll never guess. Immortality? Then, no. no. They keep playing it up. Indestructible body? <laughs> no. Oh, I, by the way, he's being I, very catty. By the yeah. way, I love the the reason he gives for that is like that would just take all the fun out of the game. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah. Good. yeah. The, Frieza the, doesn't want that anymore. Yeah, this is the version of. Frieza, who's learned what a fight feels like and is actually kind of into yeah, kinda, it. Yeah, kind of gets it. And then Barry and, Blue, who yeah, hasn't yeah, said this, a word the this entire weird, movie. like nanny character. It's, this, like, it's because you want to be taller, isn't it? And the dude that was talking to was like, oh God, she's going to fucking die. But he's then like, you see Frieza's expression. He's like, like bingo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? I want to increase my height by five centimeters. <laughs> wait, why only five centimeters? Because it needs to look like I'm still growing. It needs to look natural. And it's I like, love perfect. that he's like, then why don't you just be in your second form? He's like, I don't want to be in second form. That, that form sucks. I want to be this one. <laughs> it's weaker. Especially if I'm gold. Come on, man. Think about it for yeah, like I want to be five taller seconds. in my gold form. Penny <laughs> Frieza, my favorite fucking thing. I know like the biggest complaints I've seen on Twitter is his motivation. I'm like, no. No, that's no, all. That's on the Napoleon perfect, thing, man. Yes. I love it. Frieza I love- is petty and amazing, and he is my favorite part of this movie. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He the- has so many amazing things. Like, mm-hmm. And do you know why all these character moments work? Because the animators, there's something called character acting. Because yeah. everyone thinks mm-hmm. that animation, Absolutely. animation is like a catch-all term. But character acting is specifically when a character moves around and gives expressions. You know, what adds to their conversation. Because you can have this dialogue coming out and be... Boring and, and and just like oh okay I guess that's funny uh-huh, yeah. but it, the way that he moves and he's like oh come on it's, you'll never guess and yeah he, and it's great because like you see this side of Frieza where you know he was like a little shit when he was a kid an yeah. overconfident little shit he's still overconfident but he takes himself less seriously <laughs> because he knows he's not the top dog yeah yeah and I love that yep it yeah. shows development <laughs> mm-hmm. in a fucking character that used to be kind of one-dimensional. Yeah, and yeah. I was always fine with one-dimensional Frieza. Like, yeah, when yeah. he was just tyrant on Namek and that was all you had. I'm Space him? Hitler. Fine. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> Space Napoleon Hitler was completely fine the way that he was, <laughs> but when they went out of their way, they okay, we're bringing him back. Giving they, development. Yeah, and this development is perfect. This yeah. is exactly the direction you go. He's, if you he's, wanna... not, he's not a good guy. No. But he's also, like, not the fucking worst thing in the, like, universe. Yeah. He's fucking terrible. He destroys a lot of planets. He seems so, like he will be whatever brings the worst thing yes, in the universe. Yes, exactly. Yep. <laughs> he is the guy that causes the problems now. He is not the ultimate big bad problem. 
He is still probably the worst thing in that universe, yeah. but he is not the biggest threat. I, yeah. I, I think we'll, we'll skirt soon, though, to like the why doesn't Batman just kill the Joker thing, though? Yeah. If he just keeps bringing these cosmic <laughs> threats to Earth Goku every time. Because Goku loves it. Yeah, no. Every time Goku gets That's a new thing. cool fight, and he's like, fine, you get to keep I know. Living. So <laughs> Ch Chile and Lime are out there trying to find soldiers for Frieza's army because he decided to kill half of them because he wanted to prove a point. And <laughs> yeah. they find Paragus and and Broly, who has a great introduction when mm -hmm. you see older Broly for the yep. first time. They get attacked by this scarab, and they're like, I don't know if we can fight that thing, and Paragus just, Broly! <laughs> and from like half a mile, like, a, like yeah. miles away, he's just like, boom, and like Superman's into this thing, and it just yeah. explodes. Yes. It's incredible. And then uh, Chile just has this immediate sploosh moment. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Yeah. Oh. yeah, Chile is smitten. And <laughs> I love, oh my God. So when Their the relationship is adorable. And I love it, it is. I love it. I thought I one because when I when you told me about it, I got so mad. I'm like, really? Oh, the beauty tames the beast. How fucking cute! But no, cute. she's also kind of an asshole. So it kind yeah, of works exactly. out. yeah, they they no, but they they really do work it out. And you know what? I think they're good for each other. Yeah, it, because in all of their <laughs> scenes, she's the one with the spark. She's not the sweetheart. She she cares about him. She's yeah. like she's like, oh, you're a sweet guy. I, I kind of want to see what's best for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you're like. Fucking mega hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like by the way, so I I'm found just... a sexy strong puppy. Can yeah, I keep? So, <laughs> so I'm gonna lay this on the. I'm gonna lay this on the table. Like for about 10, 15 minutes of this movie, um, Broly. So Chilai asks, "Hey, why aren't you wearing all your armor?" And he's just walking around with a fucking compression shirt on. And yeah, like, I'm just over like, here like, uh, like under uh, armor. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Daddy he's like, Broly. I can't move good in it. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And of course, he, he has, he's he's like there's a super Tarzan Jane thing going. Oh, here. 100 percent. Uh -huh. He 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 even does like the ape speak. Yep. And I love. Well, he he's but he he's, knows manners. Yeah, and he knows manners. manners. And he never he uses he, like he uses proper grammar for the most part. He never does the full Tarzan speak. But he it's just still very, very simple though. Yes. He's like, no, that's he's my dad. Don't want to be. What yeah, do you mean to him? You shouldn't say things like that. He is my dad. He is yeah. my father. <laughs> he is yeah. my dad. Very. Um. And but so the scene where he's like, I didn't want to put on my uh, the armor. It doesn't look like it fit. What does Chile do? <laughs> Pulls the armor like. <laughs> There was a lot of fan service with this character. And I am 100% fine with it because, it, you know, yeah, it frames her in some ways, <laughs> but she's always so spunky and cool. Like, you never feel like it's too exploitative. It's just... No, she owns it. Yeah, she yeah, owns it. It's fun. It's cute. And there's I'm like... That, there's that great scene where, like, this, you know, this big buff meathead guy starts hitting on her. She's like, buzz off. It's like, what? You think you're better than me? And Broly, being the polite gentleman he is, like, she said, leave her alone. It's like, who the fuck are you? This guy, all of a sudden, is kind of an idiot because he's looking at Broly. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can take you. Broly's got like at least three feet on him. <laughs> yeah. He takes a punch at Broly and Broly's like <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Almost kills him. And then yeah. Paragus shocks him and And it's a rough scene, it's by a the way. Violent, uh, yeah, it's pretty he, violent too. It's like you really again, you really feel for Broly. Uh, and then Chilai does like that sly cute thing where she pickpockets Paragus yeah. and mm -hmm. takes that remote and then straight up slows it on the ground and krillins it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I loved that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Chilai, take it away. You're mm. the reason everything's going to go to shit, but I love it. Yeah. Mm. Um, I also love the first time we see Broly with Chilai is a great scene because she's eating a, uh, she's eating it's a like ration. a nutrient block or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's never had food. He's only had <laughs> bugs. He's <laughs> yeah. eating fucking bugs. He's, he's, it's implied that he's never had water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like all the, all the fucking uh, hydration he's gotten has probably been bug through juice. bug, bug juice. juice. <laughs> And so, yeah, in this scene, he tries a, a, a fucking ration for the first time, and he goes nuts. Yeah, he, he, he also eats it out of her hand. She's like, here, want to try? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 yep. No. yep. Almost eats it with the wrapper. Almost eats it with the <laughs> yeah, wrapper. Like, Wait, hold on. Let me unwrap it. Gotta yeah. open it first. He probably would have eaten the wrapper. Yeah, he, he would have been fine. And I love it. And then the scene later, he's like stacking on a bunch of them. He's just <laughs> yeah. going to town on double fisting rations, and it's so good. Yeah. Imagine how much stronger he'd be if he was just properly fed. <laughs> I know, right? So. I don't know what I want to know what's in those fucking bugs though. He's got some gains for <laughs> apparently being apparently on a star very planet. Sour. Actually, so, <laughs> yeah. And and not to mention bugs are basically nothing but protein. Yeah, so, yeah. so. he's probably fine. Yeah. And and they <laughs> and they survive on giant fur weasel meat, so or blood. Oh yeah. So they, that's they right. have nutrients. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's true. Um I, 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 I don't know how any of those beings came to exist on a planet without any vegetation, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Cart before the horse, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, so like legitimately, Broly in this movie, 
He's cute as fuck. Like he he's is. just he's cute. He's adorable. He's yeah. a cutie. Um he's ridiculously hot. Um <laughs> and he's actually a fantastic character. This is a story about an abuse victim. Uh, 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 somebody with an abusive father. Yeah, he's got father. PTSD yeah. and a condition that he can't control. Yeah. And it's it's phenomenal. And she I, like like calls him out. It calls the fu- like Paragus out. On. I was like, he's this way because you couldn't fucking raise him. Yeah. yeah. And Paragus actually had like a really good comeback. I was like, don't pretend to know what we've been through. <laughs> yeah. Like all things, all things. He's probably like this because he's been on a arid, bug infested planet for forty one. His only years. friends was a weasel, and I shot it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna act like I've been helping a whole lot, but it's not all me. Yeah. Yeah. Like Paragus went out of his way to find his son and help him. So Paragus here is a bad dad, but he's not the worst he's not guy. Yeah. He's a, he's a bad. Dad. Yeah. Dad, but he's not the worst father. That still goes to Goku, I feel. But <laughs> no, no. He, he, he at least can, Paragus was there. <laughs> he cares about his son. He yeah. cares about his son. Yeah. He tried to do his best. And you get that feeling. Yeah, he yeah. Was, he's he, always worried about Broly, but yeah, what, he's do, you, like, what oh. do you do when you have a child who you literally cannot rein in? Yeah. Yeah. You get you get a shot collar. And it's it's sad. It's terrible, but you get it. You get why this is happening. It's just really sad and fucked. Yeah. yeah. Like, so the entire the entire time, you know, you get to know these characters. It's it's great. It's I didn't know that Tor like I know Toriyama wrote the screenplay for this. Mm-hmm. I did not imagine we'd get these sorts of deep. real deep character moments. Yeah. You, you don't expect deep characters from Dragon Ball. I yeah. That's something we haven't had in any movie before. The <laughs> yeah. deepest character we have had so far in Dragon Ball at all has been Vegeta. He has been yeah. the deepest character. Yeah, him and Piccolo. Mm-hmm. And that's, even then, that's kind of like arguable, that's... I guess. Like, Piccolo was like, uh, I'm Demon King. I, I sh- had a good side. Now I'm evil. Yeah. I actually really liked the complexities of Beerus. Um, they I was, never, yeah, I think, I think yeah. Beerus is pretty yeah, good, it, too. It's definitely been getting better. Yeah. But I think, I, I was not expecting, you know, giving past experience with Broly. I wasn't expecting a uh, exploration of anger and, you know, PTSD and if it's all right for someone to be upset because of their upbringing in a, in a movie about Broly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, by the way, we haven't mentioned him much. Limo? Lemo? Yeah. Lem, yeah. Lem, Lem, no. Yeah. He's great. He's just this, I remember grumpy when I- Grumpy old man. Grumpy, mm-hmm. grumpy old soldier. I, I at, some, at some point I was expecting a, I'm too old for this he, shit. He even claims he's not a soldier. He's just a pilot for hire. Mm-hmm. True, yeah. Um, but he's seen some shit. It's it's yeah. implied that he's been around. Yeah. And so I I love him. He's great. He's you know he kind of plays second fiddle to Chilai, but his he's still got a great perspective on things that feels very different. I, I from... really like that those characters are a thing, and I like that uh, you know to get kind of jump ahead a little bit, but we're talking about spoilers. That them and Broly are kind of their own faction by the end. I know, yeah, I love right? That. <laughs> yeah, the Broly team, and I'm all 100% about it. Yeah, I was not expecting to be on that side, but totally. <laughs> yeah, so they land. So now we can get to the. Yeah, finally, Actually, we get to happens. Antarctica. Like, you know, you know, fuck it. They find the Frieza soldiers with the Dragon Ball, whatever. Frieza has the Dragon Balls, but they don't use them yet. They go away. I love Bulma's <laughs> reasoning, too, is like, I already know that it's in the Arctic, but I, I just didn't want to. going there. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. so cold. <laughs> also, Bulma's. Outfits in this movie are top tier. I love yeah, her, I love her Arctic outfit and I love her beach outfit. Her beach outfit is '80s as fuck and it's great. I appreciate when they land and Weiss goes. I think the you know the uh, the, yeah, the they, void they, of space is a little colder. <laughs> the vacuum yeah. of space is a lot chillier. If you ask Real me. quick, we 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 passed by one very oh. important thing. Oh. Uh, babysitter Beerus for yeah. Bula. Oh yeah, <laughs> when we see Bula. <laughs> yeah. Bra. They're, they call they they straight up just call her Bula though. Her, they yeah. call her Bra. Can the, why is she still Bola? We fixed everything else in Kai. Oh, I <laughs> actually because like they just don't want to name a character Bra. I can tell. No, I can actually tell you the exact okay, reason. Okay, tell me why. Um, the biggest issue is, uh, I mean, they could change it now, but it's been Bola for forever. And the reason they made it Bola in the first place was, uh, and this is the same reason. So remember Miguzi on Cartoon Network? Yes. Yeah, it was originally Mizugi, which is the Japanese word for swimsuit. Guess what happens when you put that into Google? <laughs> you find girls. It's <gasps> tough to do a Google image uh, search for bra. Yes. So what happens when you put bra into the search engine? Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So that's why they were afraid that people were that kids specifically were gonna look up characters. Look like, up that baby. Yeah. <laughs> they were gonna look up bra. And then and we're going to find f- boobs. Oh. Yeah. And then the parents were going to be furious. And then, yeah, what do you do? Let so, the kids have fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's why it's still Bulla, because they're not going to go back and change all that. It's trunks, trunks, on the other hand, was just swim trunks. 
Like you yeah, look up yeah. trunks. He's on, also so yeah. prominent. Right now, now I feel like if you look, to get a yeah, picture if you look up, <laughs> if you look <laughs> yeah. up, if you look up trunks, you're gonna find him yeah, first. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Google but. swim trunks. There's a picture of trunks yeah, swimming. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You might even get that. <laughs> but yeah, so babysitter but yeah. Beerus. Yeah, babysitter Beerus. Adorable. I kind of wish we got a little bit. Yeah, more I wish they would have done more. I wanted a little bit of hijinks, but I understand why they wouldn't want to cut away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it's really best that they didn't. Yeah, no, um, they they give you a little bit of it at the end where she's kind of like tugging on his little apron things like his oh, bib. Everything kind of turned out well, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's just fo- like he's been paying attention. Yeah, he's like yeah. I don't want to fucking interfere. Fuck that shit. I'm I'm sleepy. It gives yeah. me the vibe of like, all right, if shit actually gets bad, I'll be there and I'll I'll, I'll fix this problem. There's a, there's I'm not great, losing. There's Earth. a great moment. You see it in the trailer where Weiss is like in action, but it's it's just this really quick moment in the movie where he's like, whoop. Oh, almost had me there. Oh, nice one. Oh, so, welcome back. So I want to address something before we get into this because it plays it. It is something that any Dragon Ball fan is going to be concerned about: the tension, because mm-hmm. you know that Whis is there and you mm. know that Beerus is there. So what's really like, even though it's impl- even though at this point you don't know how Beerus stacks up to the strongest that Goku can get. Yeah, and you've seen that Vegeta could fight at the very least somebody who's at the very end of training to be a god of destruction. Yeah, so you don't know how strong Beerus is in comparison to Broly, but you know Whis is there. So there's always that question of, okay, but what's the tension then if you know that there are characters there that can ultimately put down this big bad? And my rebuttal is the tension is not whether the Earth is going to be destroyed. It's the it's tension the fate of, of the characters. It's the fate of these characters. Characters and the pro- the progress that they've had, and whether or not they can come out on top. Because yeah, spoiler absolutely. warning: this takes place before the end of Z. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah. but the Earth is still there. I yeah. mean, we like, still, wait a minute. We still have no idea. There's absolutely, actually, no way that this fits in with End of Z anymore. They've already actually screwed that up by dialogue that happens in the End of Z that it completely contradicts everything that's happened in Super. Yeah, and you know what? They've yeah. he's everything's already been retconned as it is. Whatever. If you want to tell a new story to keep your franchise alive and make sure you can feed your kids, that's fine, Toriyama. I'm not upset. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Just don't make give it a fun. Shit. Just yeah. Yeah. all I go, ask is go, make it fun. Go to bed on a pile of yen every night. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we love I'll, your work. I'll all I ask is just for some fun when I'm at the theater. And when it when it comes to, I think that tension is there. And that's that was a big problem in F. I think that was. But this what I think this does way better than that did. It subverted a lot of expectations. It does yeah. subvert a lot of expectations and makes the whole ride entertaining. Yeah. To where of course I know Goku's gonna win. Duh, it's <laughs> Dragon Ball. And the Dragon Balls exist. You can't have any consequences, okay? How is this fight gonna progress? How are they gonna beat him? And where are people going? What places are the villains and the heroes gonna end up at the end? And here's a little thing, and here's a cool perspective, and I like this. This is not Goku's movie. This mm. isn't Vegeta's mm. movie. Mm. It's Broly. No. Yeah, the hero of this story is Broly. Yeah. Yeah, the, I feel like the closest you have to a uh, secondary character is like either Chirai or... Uh, oh, shame. Arrogance. Party foul. <laughs> <laughs> I had that um, yeah, but you were saying. Yeah, it's either uh, Paragus or... Uh, I'd say it's like Paragus or Chilai that's the kind of secondary character. Of this. I'd say Frieza, sort of. Yeah, Frieza right. is very They're, close. I feel like he's yeah. more of a he's he, Frieza's more of a supporting role in this. Yeah. If only because like and he, again he's my favorite part in this no, movie. No, yeah, he's, he's really. I, yeah. I'm not saying this to besmirch Frieza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying they don't use him a ton. Every time they use him, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. I, I just want to like, man. I, we're tackling this in order, but we're getting close to my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my absolute favorite part of this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, shit, uh, once they show up, there's a bunch of actually great, oh my God, when Goku gets in the cold. It's hilarious. I was, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they have some fun. Yeah. And then Frieza shows up, and there's a little bit of banter, and then... Uh, he brings out Paragus yeah. and Broly, and Paragus is like, that's that motherfucker Vegeta's kid. I know Broly, that. get him! Yeah. And this is really what kind of set the pace for me, and I thought it was really cool. Like, Broly's really strong, and he's holding his own against base Vegeta, but you can tell base Vegeta's playing. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. Vegeta starts going Super Saiyan, and Broly's like, what's this? Like, they're doing this grapple, and Broly's like, huh? I can't get, what? Yeah, yeah. And Vegeta starts handing him his shit. <laughs> And this is like when Vegeta's at his best to me is when he is way on top and about to topple. <laughs> yeah. He starts realizing, oh shit, this guy's adapting and getting stronger. 
and Goku's remarking like, oh, wow, he's hanging out with like Super Saiyan without <laughs> him in his base form. This is really cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. peak Goku. Yeah. And then Vegeta finally, for the first time, we get to see him go Super Saiyan God. Yes. He looks so fucking good. He, he looks, looks amazing. Looks he looks great. <laughs> Red really does something and well And he yeah. obliterates Broly. Yeah. Like straight up. The, the Punches move him that through he, like three mountains. Yeah, and the move <laughs> that he uses... Like the moment he turns red, he just starts shooting these little balls, yeah. boom, boom, and they're boom. strong enough to knock Broly around. Yeah, I'm they pushing the air. Yeah, these aren't <laughs> yeah. even key blasts. It's just focused air. Yeah, that he's like firing at him, and Broly's like fuck, 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 <laughs> punches him. Like you get this beautiful shot of him flying straight through like seven or eight mountains. <laughs> so many mountains. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. And then Broly snaps, and all of a sudden Vegeta can't hurt him, and he's <laughs> like. What the fuck? <laughs> and that's where things really kick off. And I love yeah. the explanation for this. I do too. Like, this explanation is so good. Thank God Toriyama found a good way to utilize something that he had forgotten for a million <laughs> years and even brings up a couple times in the movie. By the way, I keep finding things in this movie that are set up and paid off. Maybe yeah. not obviously, but he mm. keeps setting up like, oh yeah, the Ozaru, the great ape mm -hmm. form. That's mm -hmm. something we can do. He explains, oh shit. He's utilizing the great ape power without going great ape. Yeah, that's that's his thing. That's, yeah, that's what he does. He's, so his he's eyes go Saiyan four. His <laughs> eyes go yellow. Yeah, which is what happens in Super Saiyan four. Yeah. <laughs> he gets cannon. He goes. He goes feral, and from that point onward, he does not speak. Yes. Yeah. So does that mean so? Is Broly just doing what Gohan did when he was training with Piccolo and that like simulated moonlight or whatever came out of Goku's broken pod and he wasn't <laughs> quite transformed but he was like werewolf Gohan? Oh, is, yeah. this, is this all coming back You're to that? canonizing everything now. <laughs> this is where Broly and I'm all about it. But like but yeah. seriously, it, it's, it's essentially the explanation for Super Saiyan 4 which has always been the reasoning I said why I loved it because it ties back into what makes Saiyans cool. And I think just seeing it here, I'm sad he doesn't get a little hairy. I would like a little hair on him. That's all I'm saying. But, but he, he's essentially yeah. Super Saiyan 4 yeah. throughout this movie. Which, hey, Super Saiyan 4 equals Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Awesome. Cool. Done. Perfect. It, it, do, it doesn't, though. It's actually stronger. That's right. Because Also, uh, just, just, oh. a, just a small note. Just a small note. Uh, I have never before has it taken somebody to go Super Saiyan Blue like it, it's never taken this much effort before. Yeah, they yeah. they were like, ha, 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 and uh, it's really cool, really well animated transformation. But in Super, it's just like, Poof, all right, let's go. Well, Vegeta yeah. does that. Vegeta, oh, Vegeta yeah. does it, but when Goku does it the first time, and granted, this is uh, when Goku steps in. Like I think the fight goes to like, uh, I think Vegeta's fight is better, like really cool and better overall. But when mm -hmm. Goku steps in, it is also really awesome. Like Goku's yeah. like, hey, can I take a stab at this? He's like. Fine, fucking do it. Okay, yeah. and I want to talk about one of the coolest shots in the entire yes. movie, and maybe one of the coolest shots in all of Dragon Ball. Okay. Have you ever seen a first-person perspective in Dragon Ball during a oh, fight? Oh, you're right. That Holy was weird to me. I like, was I weird, was but here. I thought it was really cool. Like I, I'm, I like I didn't dislike it. I don't think I'd go that far, but it was just like, oh, okay, that's that's a that's a choice. Like, and it's. It's not necessarily that I disliked it. It just it felt weird to me. I guess I won't like, lie. Yeah, I no, it does. It. it does feel weird. But the moment it was happening, I'm like, okay, we've never had something. No, like it's, this yeah, it's very unique. Though. It was so cool and such an interesting idea. And he, when he punches him into the mountain, into the hole, and you You're, follow yeah, him yeah. into yeah. the hole. No, that that's really cool. That yeah. I was, I was. That was remarkable for me. I was like, holy shit! There was this great moment uh, when Goku was fighting Broly. And all of a sudden, like, you know, Goku goes Super Saiyan God, and he does this thing where he just does that para paralysis thing, like, taking yeah, control yeah. of Broly's energy. Like, you know, we don't have to fight. <laughs> I, you look like, a, you seem like you're a nice guy. I kind of, I like, you know, we can talk <laughs> this out. I'm getting this vibe. And then Broly's just, like, he's, he's already gone mad, and he's like, and then he reverses it on Goku, and Goku's yeah, now, all of a sudden, oh, shit. Yeah, it's I all can't. green what aura now. <laughs> yeah. Can he just he... starts smashing oh, the yeah. fuck out of oh, him. Oh, my like, God. Hulk on Loki. brutal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and unlike in Super, where they literally rotoscoped the scene with Loki and Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, you know. This is like, slam. Ah! I mean, and you're getting, like, you see his head crack off the ground. And then uh, he turns around and slams him face <laughs> first on the other side. And he just does this like five times. And all of a sudden, you're like cut to Piccolo going like, 
What the fuck and is happening? Kudos to Sean. He is screaming oh, yeah. in pain oh, yeah. in, in a very convincing way. I was like, oh, I think that was the most painful thing this whole movie. Yeah. There's a it lot of really looks good fucking brutal. Yeah. There's a lot of really good flailing animation in this, like j- in this movie, just throughout of things mm. that like just look like they are being whipped around just furiously. And every time it is very like just like, oh God, that that has to the hurt. Impact yeah. is visceral. And the beatdown that Broly puts on Goku. As somebody who really dislikes current Goku is so <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> Although Goku in this movie is pink, yes, no, is, is, I, is, I really yeah. like Goku in this movie, yeah. but yeah. for all the times that I've disliked Goku, this is really satisfying. Yeah. People, a lot of people get comeuppance, and so a little bit of Goku. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I do like the fact that you know, and that conversation he has with Broly after he, he paralyzes him is actually really sweet. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like you know, like. You seem like I see you some gentleness there. Telling, like yeah. we don't have to be fighting like this. We can be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, knew yeah, guy, I knew this guy Majin Buu, and his <laughs> friend Bobbity told I, him I, to do a lot of bad things. It's, it's sort of paraphrases like, "Hey, on Earth, we like to settle our differences peacefully." I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. "Are you fucking Goku. kidding me, <laughs> Goku, I mean, Mister Fighto Fighto?" I mean, he does. He likes to settle differences peacefully. Dissolving um, them. He just loves to fight. Yeah, he doesn't want anybody them. to hate each other. Yeah. Peace. Adams, we don't need to fight. We don't need to fight and hate. I mean. Let's fight in love. Yeah, let's fighting love. I mean, that's there's a reason. There's a reason we made Goku fight sexual. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so here it's just this really great, really great moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, you know, it, it's a nice break too. Because yeah, it's been nothing it's, but fighting hard, and, fast, brutal fighting. <laughs> so it, this little moment of character, and then it gets back to the fighting. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's at that moment that like Goku talks to Piccolo, and it's another great setup because like. Mm-hmm. By the way, if I need to, I might just pop over there with an instant <laughs> transmission. Just be ready for that. Yeah. But I'm going to try that real quick. <laughs> yeah. And when he goes blue, uh, this is the first time we jump into an Arxis cutscene. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anytime they transform into blue, all of a sudden we go Arxis cutscene. Yeah, but 3D. Which is a little weird, but... They do a lot of fun things where the camera's like rotating around yeah. them that they just probably couldn't do I, feasibly. I, under- I understand why they do it. Yeah. And this is the moment when... Uh, Paragus is like, oh crap, I think Broly might be at his limit here. I should rein him in. And he realizes his shot controller isn't there anymore. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh fuck. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that controller's gone. And he's like, I, I, he could die out there. We might die out here. Oh no. And, and then he looks to Freeza. Like, Can you stop him? I can't stop him. I'm not going to be able to stop him. This is going to get bad. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a five minute scene here of just an amazing, incredible fight scene where, you know, they're getting knocked under the ground into this volcanic lava. cave. Lava! Into yeah. lava! It's a, yeah, and Goku fighting fights in him the lava. Under lava. <laughs> they're like, fighting yes. in this lava. Then they fight, they explode, and all of a sudden you're in this hellscape. <laughs> and uh, it's at this point. Like, bro, uh, Perry, uh, Freeze is like, you know, he does look like he's at his limit, but I have an idea, and this is my favorite part <laughs> of the fucking so movie. Yeah. Because he has this flash of, like, when Krillin blew up and Goku went Super Saiyan. Because he's, he's looking at Broly, and he's like, hmm, he hasn't even done that yet. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love when he asks Paris, does he not know how to go Super Saiyan? <laughs> oh, no. Like, oh, this oh. guy's going to be over quicker than I thought. <laughs> and now Freeze is realizing, shit, I think I got something here. And he looks at Paragus. Bang! Shoots him straight through the chest. Him. <clears throat> Broly! Oh no! Your father was killed by a stray energy blast! <laughs> it's a it's tragedy. Just, oh no! This was my favorite moment of the whole movie. It's I so laughed good. so fucking hard. Yeah. And Par- Broly looks over. <laughs> That's when he transforms, yeah, and, then, and that's when shit gets crazy. That's when he hulks out into the, you know, we see the the thing that the it kind of... green orbs. Yeah, the, warm, warm, the, <laughs> the red, the circle things that, like, have always been associated with Broly's transformation. You see the color shift and everything. He's breaking dimensions, whatever the fuck. Everything goes fucking nuts. And I think he opens with a mouth laser, really pushing home no, the that, whole... That's, no, that, that was later. That was, Wait. No, no, that was, no, I think no. that was beforehand. That's I, before, because he gets the red eyes after Paragus dies. Yeah, you know, well, well, I know no, he does we're, it we're again. not talking about the yeah. one. That one is at the end, but he the does mouth do laser a mouth thing laser. he does after uh, Vegeta okay. knocks him underwater. Yes. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Well, either way, <laughs> this, pulling this in whole that fight whole scene is amazing. Thing. Yeah. And like now it goes to like the next level where all of a sudden Vegeta and Goku are trying to fight him together. Yeah. And they're getting their shit rocked. Yep. And then comes my second favorite part of the movie when they realize, shit, we might need to make a tactical retreat. They're mm-hmm. flying. They fly over a cliff, like, <laughs> yeah. by Frieza. <laughs> yeah. And Goku's is just like, have fun, Frieza! He teleports away with Vegeta, and Frieza's like, what? And Broly, <laughs> bam! Just starts taking yeah, him just down. His whole mass comes above the cliff. Like, oh, it's bam! Like, takes up the whole screen. And he's just, that energy <laughs> gen- it's that Frieza's energy re- disc all over again. <laughs> Frieza's reaction just, what? <laughs> 
so yeah, amazing. And it's it's just a beatdown. He just starts wailing on Frieza. It's not. It doesn't matter. Broly, he just wants Broly to punch doesn't everything. care who he's fighting. No. <laughs> he's just like, new target. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I, I want to say he beats him up so hard it's not even funny, but it's actually no. really fucking And it funny. goes on for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Frieza. A whole hour. Okay. Uh, in, in universe time. Yeah. Yeah. In universe yeah. time, a whole hour passes because. They go to try to learn the teach to try to Vegeta teach Vegeta how to dance. do the fusion dance, which is something I also appreciated because I never liked that he could just kind of <laughs> do, do it. it. Yeah, like it never seemed like something he had to be taught. So, I'm so they go to they go to Piccolo Goku and Piccolo teach him. Yeah, yeah. which makes sense because Piccolo's the mm-hmm. other one who would know, other than Krillin. But Krillin's busy. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and oh my god, the comedy here. The, the, it's the real car- good. Can we do it without ridiculous poses? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the pose. Oh, do you want your daughter and bo- darling, darling Bulma to die? You motherfucker! Oh, don't you dare pull that out on me! <laughs> and then when he when when Vegeta starts messing it up, they do some fun visual stuff. We're like, your angle is off, forty five degrees, sixty degrees. You're fucking it up, Vegeta. And of course, they do like the fat Gogeta and the skinny Gogeta. Yeah, I, and I, then I will, they take about two minutes to come up with a name. I will say this. I feel like the whole skinny fat Vegeta Gogeta thing was merely just a like Fan we service. did it we did yeah. it in the show and we did it in the old movie so we should do it here but at least it did set up for some really good visual jokes yeah. and I, yeah. I was I was okay with that but yeah and then we finally get full on Gogeta and he looks different from Gogeta in a the little, original yeah. movie yeah. and he I has, like it I he like has the um he has the black vest that they've been doing for the heroes stuff now which yeah. I don't think any of them have had before yeah and his face is a bit different yeah. the widow's peak is different and it's a good look I yeah, like he it he looks like great yeah. also he's like sassier and more playful it's definitely emphasizing Goku Mm-hmm. In yeah. the personality, it's like, what do we cool. call ourselves? <laughs> yeah, uh, Picarot, uh, uh, Vegeta Rot. No, uh, Vago- Vagoja, Vagoji. <laughs> uh, oh, I know. We'll go with Gogeta. <laughs> and then he teleports, and Piccolo's just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does not just give go. a fuck. And then you know he teleports in front of Whis, and I believe Whis's line is like, "Oh my!" <laughs> it's like, "Oh hey, yeah, what's this?" Yeah, like you, you pop, you pop back, freezes in a crater on a mountain. He's like, <laughs> "Yeah, what the fuck is today?" <laughs> yep. And uh, Whis is doing that little dance with Bro's like, whoop, whoop, almost got me. <laughs> yeah. And then Gogeta pops in, oh my. <laughs> so you can't can, work so you together. Can, yeah, so yeah. you can work together. Yeah. And then we get, and then you get Gogeta showing up, and Frieza's like, who the fuck are you? It's like, I'm Goku and Vegeta working together. That's not fair. You were dead for a long time. <laughs> Probably didn't know we could do this. You didn't know about this technique. <laughs> we combined, we combined our fa- powers together. That's not fair. <laughs> Frieza's so mad. He's so mad. It's like, what? Because no. now, because now he realizes. There's an even higher plateau that he's he has like, ah, reached. shit. <laughs> Just as petty. That's not fair. As he's sitting in that <laughs> <Yeah>. crater. <laughs> Which I don't think he moves from again until the end. No, oh my uh, god, I think he just kind of sticks there. 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 It's like, ah. <laughs> Too many things broken, don't want to move. Yeah. yeah. I, am, I am hurt everywhere. Yeah, and then this final fight is crazy. Yeah, this just is the non- climax. Yeah. It's nonstop. Just so then the movie like, starts, and Gogeta <laughs> and Broly, it's just, uh, it's like 10 minutes. And yeah. here's it's where the ins- soundtrack goes nuts. Go, go, Broly. Go, 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 go Broly. Go, Gogeta. Go, Gogeta. <laughs> okay, so go, Gogeta. We got a little bit of this earlier in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they did a little bit. Where, where they had this, like, epic rap battle of history opening. Broly. Kakarot. <laughs> yep. Which I love. Yeah. yeah. I love it. it. It's so goofy. But it works so fucking it reminds, well. It reminded me of the uh, you uh, you know this from the Common Rider. Oh like yeah, the Tatoba, like <laughs> <right. Just laughs> announcing the names of yeah, what is say, happening. Oh, it's so you gotta say its name. You gotta sell those toys. Like <laughs> yes, it, you do. It feels like the <laughs> in this corner, like kind of. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. and which I, which I love is. <laughs> Is the, like, feels the kind like of jock energy jams. you need to sell. Yeah, it's like Jock Jams trying to do an anime fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's the hype beast anthem. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be everywhere. I just, I, I loved it. I thought it was goofy as fuck. But mm-hmm. yeah, I was, I like as I as the movie went on, I'm like, yeah, go Broly, go go, yeah, go Broly, go, Broly go. go go, go Broly. This movie yeah. feels like a lot of decisions that if you hear them individually, you're like, this sounds like it's gonna be bad. <laughs> like, yep. like the, you, yep. if you hear that mu- music without thought. without context, like I did, I was like, oh, that's gonna be so. Yeah. Stupid. I, I remember yeah, I I told you about some of this. Yeah, you stuff. T- and I remember saying I'm going to hate this and couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, this so the fight escalates. What I like to, to oh, what, oh, ahead, sorry, go. this is this fight is I'm just interjecting. This fight is what I like to call the this is the fighter's move set. Yeah, please. So <laughs> the fight the fight is off the wall. It's crazy. You already know that it's gonna be like uh, totally bonkers just by the fact that you've got Gogeta there. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and you've got you know finally super, this fully realized Super, super Saiyan Broly. Broly. Mm-hmm. But I can't I, words cannot tell you how this fight goes. They're sh- they're throwing level ones and level threes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's great. And and v- Gogeta has these two amazing moves besides the one that he also uses in movie mm-hmm. twelve. Yeah, we get which, to see the Soul Punisher. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah. it's there. He's it's got awesome. this. He's got this move where he just sends these blasts down a, a rain everywhere a rain of ball of, 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 of beams 10 yeah. people will get this it's, it's Jehuti's move from Zone of the Enders 2 I was gonna say it looks like a hunter hunter attack like, <laughs> Ooh, okay yeah and it's like c- Netero just yeah, it's the converging thousand punches and then he's got this move where he explodes all of his energy and this is the one of the coolest uses of that I've ever seen because you see Broly taking it yeah and he like he's you just the way that his body's reacting to all this power is so cool um <laughs> And then the fight escalates to the dimension <laughs> yes. breaking. This is the part we were talking about in the reviewers. Like, Gogeta just stops looking like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, they clash beams and shatter dimensions and, and are then now. then they pop into some weird, I don't even know where, abstract the netherverse. floating shapes. And, and he's yeah. played everything. The game, everything. <laughs> it looks like if you go down to the smallest level yes, in it's everything. Like, yeah, it's like the one dimensional area in everything. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> it's just prisms. And, and, yeah. so, and this is why I think they, they're they definitely hinting at something. Like, because yeah, they yeah. acknowledge they, it. Yes. It's they, not just, this is a strange visual cue. This is the end of Spider-Verse. This this is yeah. what just <laughs> happened. Yeah. Oh, we're like in the, everyone's CG. They have they happen for a bit, but they notice. Oh, what? They're like, it's so weird. What you know? What it feels like, and, and this is good <laughs> and bad. It feels like one of the forty rides that Japan does. Mm, like, you've okay. seen those yes. before. Where Abs- it feels yes, like, it holy shit, where are we now? Like you're in Universal Japan. Which you know what? I wouldn't be. I haven't seen it, but the four D ride was like Super Saiyan Three Broly versus Blue Gogeta. Yeah. Mm. So I wouldn't be surprised if some segment like that was already there. Not to mention in Japan they've got a setup that is a forty setup for the movie itself. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So that you've got you've got wind, you've got rocking, you've got heat. That oh. sounds incredible. Yeah. Damn I, it. But Mossico got to do it. Oh. oh. Fuck you. What if we got to do it? <laughs> I know, right? No, good for him, though. Yeah. No, but, I'm yeah. pissed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but, yeah. I am friendvious. There we go. Yeah, friendvious, yes. And and so this battle climaxes, and unfortunately... It's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's at this point where Chilai and Lime uh, yeah, are and Lima. starting to... Lima are starting to launch into action to try to take the Dragon Balls and... Do something with yeah. them. And yeah. This is where they become plot essential, which I yeah. dig. Yeah. So they get the Dragon Balls. And I love the fact that Chilai has, uh, I forget what his name is, but that one alien, you know, holds the, the gun up. Guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Holds Mer- the gun. Something? Yeah. yeah. Holds, holds the gun up to him. And he's like, all right, tell yeah. me what to do. And he's tell like, me, tell me what to say to the dragon. It just says, say your wish. And then <laughs> Chilai's like, that's it? I really oh, thought okay. this would be yeah. harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And huh. uh, this is right when, you know, Gogeta's charging up this super mega Kamehameha to obliterate Broly. And you see fear in Broly's eyes. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. Is the For first like the time, first time. Yeah. This is the first time since he's gone feral. And also you get this great shot of him doing this like puke beam. Just <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. husband started laughing at that point, And I'm like. It's, it looks oh, so, I it looks so it. funny, yeah. but it's so cool. Because he's just. He's he's in a position where he's like, I don't know how to fight this guy, so I'm just no. gonna fire this fucking it beam wherever I can. Godzilla's beam and Shin Godzilla were just like, I yeah. can't control it. I'm just yeah. a living just nuclear going. reactor. <laughs> and, he, and he fires this mega Kamehameha, and Chile just yells out, I wish that Broly went back to the planet that he grew up on. Mm. And <laughs> before he gets obliterated, you see this look of fear in his eyes, like, I'm about to fucking die. And then he gets teleported back to Vampa. I will say, there was one thing that I would have changed in that fight. Hmm. I would have not made it just a Kamehameha. Same. I, that was like, the exact big, same You would have gone Big Bang. Thank you. Kamehameha if you're going to have, you're gonna have a Any, fusion. Like, yeah. P- combine Final anywhere. Kamehameha. Galax, Galax Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Big Bang Kamehameha. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, something. I was really, I'm not going to lie. I'm really sad Big Bang Kamehameha didn't happen. But mm. that's okay. I mean, Super that's Saiyan a, 4 That's Gogeta. a Vegito thing. That's Super a Saiyan thing. 4 Gogetas. Uh, it's yeah, his okay. move. Okay. Fair enough. Still so he needs to learn how to channel the great ape energy first. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then they can be. Also, I love ex- the expression on, on Broly when he winds up on Vampa. Yeah. So, like, yeah. like that. Yeah. That, that and whole he's back like, to normal immediately, too. Well, I think part of that was that it's not an instant boop, boop. You actually see him fly off. Yeah. yeah. And so I think in that moment, he's jarred out of it. Yeah. And, and like when you see that look of fear in his eyes, you re- I think he kind of snapped out of his rage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's just like kind of comes back to it on Vampa. He's like, I'm home. And I'd like, yeah, yeah. And I'd like to point out, uh, so during that scene, 
it was hard for me to feel like, oh, yeah, here's the big triumphant moment where they win. Because, again, this is Broly's fight. Mm-hmm. It's all about and, – and that's why – you don't want Broly to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want him to lose. You don't want him to kill everybody, but you don't want him to die. And so in this moment, this is the victory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he gets saved and he, he gets saved in multiple ways. And that's why this this was the tension. Mm-hmm. This was the actual yes. stake. Is Broly going to be yeah, okay? What, yeah, is what is, Broly yeah, what going is his to stake? Die? <laughs> and then Chile and Lim, uh, Limo, Lim, whatever. Lemo. Lemo. Yeah. They fly off back to Vampa. Freeze is about to blast him. Gogeta walks up to him. Fucking no. And Freeze like, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and then yeah. Freeze kind of just sulks off. He's like, I'm leaving and I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Just, I hate you and I'll be back for this planet. <laughs> I was shocked. Like, the biggest, uh, vi- biggest expectation subversion. Gogeta lasted the entire la- rest of the fight. I know. Yeah. He did not defuse, and they didn't have to do some bullshit. Give me your energy, shit. Yeah, I was yeah. expecting that. I would have put all my money on that. Yeah. But- I, uh, that is the exact <laughs> yeah. thing we were talking about while we were sitting at the table beforehand. It's like, he's going to defuse, and maybe, we'll, defuse, maybe we'll get a flash of Ultra Instinct, and <laughs> yeah, that's what's yeah. going to do it. Yeah. No, no. Gogeta's there the whole time. He is enough to wind down back from blue to go base again. <laughs> when does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> And we get this, we get a cute little epilogue, something we very rarely get in yeah. Dragon Ball movies. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Where uh, Goku, like, Frieza's talking about, like, yes, no, they'll they'll teach him to keep his shit under control, and then I'll go for him so I can crush the yeah. Saiyans. While casually committing genocide on a planet. On a random <laughs> planet. You just <laughs> yeah. see a bunch of Frieza forces bombing the shit out Total of the planet. Total Star Wars Emperor imagery with it. Yep. I yeah. love it. He's just like, and, all right, he's there. Then, okay. then we cut to Vampa as... Uh, the three are now kind of getting on with their new daily routine. And Goku teleports in with some goodies to talk. <laughs> and I yeah. love that none of them trust him at first. Like, yeah, yeah. You get out of here. I'll shoot you. He's and, like, oh, come on. I'm here for fun. Yeah. And, and I love the fact it's like, you don't even know if we'll be here when you get back. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just I'll find f- him. Yeah. I think there. everyone sort of laughed at that like, oh, that's creepy. That's <laughs> yeah. creepy. I know Big brother where Goku you over here. I know where you sleep. He yeah, sees that's... you when you're sleeping. Yeah, it's like, you better watch out. You better <laughs> watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Son Goku knows where you are now. Um, and yeah, and actually the whole scene is great. Yeah, like he's, Goku just being very friendly. He gives them capsules like, yeah, no, this has water and a out. bed. He like makes the house. He's like, I bet it's going to collapse as soon as we go in. Nah. Nah, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Then I wouldn't get to fight Broly anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's like, don't, like I don't think and this you, is the biggest jerk off to Broly at this point. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's just like, I look, I don't think you understand why I'm here. I want <laughs> him. I need him. He is he is the new hotness. I need this <laughs> yeah. guy. It, it feels this is where Broly started to feel a little Gary Stu to me, where it was because uh, because he goes there and it's like you know I thought I I was at like the peak, but then I fought Broly and wow I realized I have so much more to <laughs> I grow. I could still be even stronger. If if Broly if Broly hadn't been such a good character, I'd agree. Yeah. But the fact that throughout all of this, I'm like no, I get it. I it, believe it. It was an oh my god, he's so goddamn cool moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> One thing we didn't mention earlier is this does definitively take place after the the tournament of power. Yes, yes. yes. They, they, they there's even a it. shot of Jiren when he's like, <laughs> "There's other strong guys out there. I can't stop now." Mm-hmm. And like, I want to just be like, if if Jiren wasn't already motivating you, meeting a Saiyan who could do this was mm-hmm. like the was the touch of like, no, someone someone who's the same species as me did this. Are you surprised they made absolutely no mention of Kale? They show her. Ooh. They show her, but they never mention. Oh, it's kind of like when she did this. I, you know, I'm glad they did. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, actually, a little, yeah. I'm a little glad they didn't, but I'm surprised because it is so incredibly similar. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. intentionally so. Yeah, exactly. Um, like she's the Broly of that universe. She's I'm, the one that can do that. Yeah, I am. I am actually particularly happy that they didn't, even though it would have been a funny moment. It would have. It would have taken away from Broly. Yeah, granted. it would have. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, uh, like the boy version of that kale girl. <laughs> but, but, I'm gonna uh, call God, you male kale. Don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. By the way, I was when Goku says, uh, "Oh, the, the uh, final like line. he might, he might even no, hold on, hold on. Oh. He might even, I think he might even be stronger than Beerus. I just want Beerus on planet Earth, like." What did you just say? Mother what? Yeah, when Goku gets back, I heard what you said. <laughs> I was on another planet in another galaxy. I heard you. I've got big fucking ears. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, um, yeah. And then, yeah. Fan so service the moment. The big last tip scene, of the hat. The last scene of the movie. The last, last line. line of the movie is so good. And I was so happy. Just Kieran, 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 what was the line? Come on. My name's Goku. 
But Broly, you can call me Kakarot. Yeah! Bam! Ah! <laughs> I love it. I, movie, fucking, it, it. I fucking love it. That's the, the great. audience gave an audible. Yeah. 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 I got a, I, that got a. Ah. Yeah, no, that, that, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that's an ah. Because you know that that's a. Yeah. yeah. Moment. Yeah, for, for me, it's a. Okay. Yeah, like, just exactly. Like, mm, but I'm not against this, but I get it. I yeah. wonder, like, I think that line's in the Japanese. Yeah. But yeah. I wonder, because there, there's a lot of things in there, like King Vegeta saying, like, I don't know, I think that kid's a freak. Do you, <laughs> how, how, many, yeah, right. how many, like, tips of the hat are there just in the dub? Uh, I know. I feel, I feel like Sabbath is one of those guys that definitely loves playing to the fan base because he loves the yeah. show as much as any of us. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know we had Russian saying scientists. That, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, there, there were some weird accents in this movie I just in the dub. Vegeta is space Russia. Like, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> well, turns this out. little Broly boy, he's very powerful, but their contraption is having malfunctions. Oh, yeah. no, and, the scouter she broke. It yes. broke the scouting machine. <laughs> and we are not exactly. Exaggerating. No, that's no. That's, I am yeah. a little. I feel, but well, it is what, it is noticeable, <laughs> and I kind of think they shouldn't have done it. Yeah, I you don't know. know why they did. Maybe they thought it would add some character to the scene, and you know what? For the most part, it kind of does. It's, it's distracting. It's, though. It's, it's I really do very much remember that scene. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, the fact that I remember it. It, it. it turns out he is more powerful than your son. He's very powerful. We got to have to measure him day by day. But sometimes he shows that he's stronger than Vegeta. We throw him out in cold and see if he come back. <laughs> <laughs> Put him out in Siberia. We'll see how he comes home. So, yeah. Broliovich. Bro, uh, bro, Broliovich. Broliovich. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yes. Oh, so yeah. Rolovich, the legendary super sandwich. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how long we've been going, but I, I feel, I feel like, like like we. Yeah, oh we, we've discussed okay. the entire movie. I. Okay, one thing I want to talk about: yes. Goku does a fucking Rasengan. He does a fucking Rasengan. Yes. He hundred percent does? does. When he's when he's super he Saiyan a, God, he does a Kamehameha, a, and then he starts chucking a blue ball. And then he hold and then he holds yes. a red ball in his and hand then, and does the full motion straight into Broly. And Broly just like punches through it. Yeah, ah, but okay. he does a goddamn Rasengan. Yeah. And I know I know the Shonen shows love playing with each other like that, but who watches Boruto? <laughs> anyway, th this has been our spoiler discussion. If you can't tell, we fucking love this movie. If fucking you haven't, go see it. If you haven't seen it yet and you just wanted to hear the Pol Pot description, you still see have to it see it. Anyway. Yeah, you still have see to it. see it. This does not do it any justice. It's a visual medium in the best way. We yeah. can describe it. You can go, oh, I know what happens. No, you don't. You gotta you watch don't it. it. <laughs> you don't get it. Yeah. You so don't get it. You don't get it. See it. I mean, I, I read and I, I heard AJ's full thing about it, and I still came in there, and I was still fucking blown away by this. So. I, lo I love going in spoiler-free. I went in as spoiler-free as possible. I am glad that I did. If you're not that type of person, if you watch this movie beforehand, please, please go see it. If you like Dragon Ball, you owe it to yourself. Absolutely. I think that's all we have to say on this yep. discussion. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time. I think I want to go get tickets to see this again. Yep. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See you later, folks. Bye. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh.